I'm in this village investigating reports of a new species of creature. But where could this creature be? Huh, there's something strange about this village. There aren't any villagers. What's going on? Well, whatever. Look at that. There's something over there. That seems to be the new species. It has the body of a bird and the face of a human. It's probably about eight feet tall. It's really huge. It also appears to be taking care of the other animals, so it seems very kind. I think I'll try getting closer. Hello? Huh? What just happened? Mikey, that was a harpy. Huh? Harpies hate humans and will attack any humans they come across. Oh! There's no doubt the harpy is why that village has no people. But it was so kind to the animals. I can't believe it attacks people. And that village is close to our village. Uh, seriously? What do we do? I don't want to get attacked. <laughs> well, it's only a matter of time before the harpy catches our scent and comes to attack us. So, let's upgrade our house's security and fight off the harpy. Got it! <laughs> let's hurry! What kind of security measures will we use? All right, first up, let's set up some scarecrows around here. Scarecrows? Mm-hmm. Birds don't like scarecrows. That's right! If we have scarecrows, the harpy won't be able to get close to our house. So, let's set up a few of them around here. Sounds good. That's done. They're amazing! With this many scarecrows, the harpy will definitely stay away. Still, let's set up some more security measures, just in case. Let's do it. Hmm, I'd like to set up something else that'll be good against birds. Oh? Hmm. What else? Oh, I've got it. Let's surround the house with barbed wire. Oh! Barbed wire has lots of spikes, so birds hate it. Oh, great idea! Let's put some up. Got it! This is probably enough. Amazing! With all these spikes around us, there's no way the harpy will get inside. Woohoo! But it's not quite enough. Oh? Harpies are extremely ferocious, so let's set up more security measures in case it breaches the barbed wire. Huh? We have scarecrows and barbed wire, so it doesn't seem like it can get inside, but okay. Then, moving on, let's build a security measure around here. Sure thing! What else do birds have trouble with? Hmm, I wonder… I've got it! Light! Huh? Light? Yep, birds dislike overly bright things. So… Oh, I've got it! Let's set up flash grenade traps over here that can use powerful lights to cause damage. That's a good plan! Let's do it! Okay! First, I'll open a space up here, where I'll place a dispenser facing up. Mm-hmm. Next, I'll fill it up with a whole lot of stun grenades. Then, I'll place a pressure plate here. Now let's make more of these. Okay! All right, all set. Whoa! If the harpy steps on these pressure plates, they'll release light grenades from below. Let's test it. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> it's too bright! I can't see anything! Ugh, this is too bright for us, too. Huh. So let's put on these sunglasses I brought. Wow, thanks! Now we're good to go! With light grenades that bright, we'll definitely have no trouble with the harpy. Hmm, but just in case the light grenades aren't enough, let's build a bird cage to trap the harpy. Good idea! So now, let's set up our bird cage in this area. Mm-hmm! 
Let's build it underground. Interesting. Now, I'll use a command to make a hole in the ground. All right. Incredible. We should be fine with a pit this deep. Now I'd like to use wood to build our birdcage. What'll it be like? Okay! I'll place a fence around the edges from over here. Whoa! Nice! Next, we'll make the fence taller to keep it from getting out. Huh? The birdcage is complete! Looks great! Yep! Let's drop the harpy in here to catch it. Ooh. We still need to put a lid on the birdcage, though. Oh! We can make it with dispensers! Why dispensers? Well, if we just close the harpy inside the birdcage, then we'd be in trouble if it goes on a rampage and breaks out. Oh. So, let's set up an ultimate security measure on the birdcage. I think you're worrying too much and we'll be fine with this. You have in mind this ta da huh chocolate and coffee Ooh, that chocolate looks good but how is that an ultimate security measure well there are two foods that are safe for us to eat but not for birds the caffeine in the chocolate and coffee is poisonous huh? chocolate and coffee are poisonous to birds yep if we shut the harpy in the birdcage, put a dispenser lid on it, and then shower it with chocolate and coffee, we'll defeat the harpy! Incredible! The harpy won't stand a chance! Alright! Let's make the lid using dispensers! Okay! Now for the birdcage's dispenser lid. I think I'll use a command block. Huh? I'll make the hole over here. Okay. Now I'll input the command. All right. Now to cover it up. Mm. And attach a lever. Three, two, one, on. Whoa, it worked. Awesome. Next, I want to make an activation switch for the dispensers. But I want to be able to check on the harpy in the birdcage. So I'll make a basement and put the ultimate security switch in there. Let's get to work, Mikey. Okay. All right. Let's dig a hole here to lead to the basement. Now, let's place rows of glass panes over here. Mm. Okay, it's finished. We can see what's going on in the birdcage through the glass. It looks really good. Next, I'll place the command block that will activate the chocolate and coffee. Mm. I'll put it in here and input the command. Okay, now to close it up and put a lever on it. Whoa! Let's test it. Three, two, one, on. Huh? Wow! Whoa! It works great! That's amazing! With that much chocolate and coffee pouring out, we might be able to defeat the harpy! Now I'd like to set up a pitfall trap above the birdcage. Hmm! The harpy is much taller than us, so we can use tripwire hooks to activate the pitfall. I see!
We'll have to activate the saw blade security. Now! Hurry, JJ! How's that? Not good! He's coming this way! Isn't camping on a deserted island awesome? And these steaks are delicious! Yum, 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 yum. It sure is, Mikey. It's good to relax like this once in a while. Oh, this is tasty. Urgent news. Huh? A man-eating train named Charles has been sighted roaming deserted islands. Any listeners on deserted islands should be careful. What? A man-eating train named Charles? This is bad, Mikey. If Charles shows up here, we'll be eaten. We have to set up some security. I don't want to get eaten. Let's set up some security, quickly! First of all, to protect our home, we'll set up some basic security lava. Great idea! Let's clear some space around the house so we can set up our security lava. We don't know when Charles will show up, so let's get it done quickly. Let's be quick or our house won't be safe! Okay, we've dug a large enough area around the house for our security lava. We'll pour the lava into it now. I'll pour it in on this side. Oh, thanks, Mikey. Lava is extremely hot, so Charles won't stand a chance against it. Our security lava is ready. We can rest easy with that in place. Now, there's absolutely no way that Charles will eat us. We can't rest easy just yet, Mikey. In the event that Charles does manage to breach our security lava, I want to create a special device. A special device? What kind of device are you building? It's an extremely powerful security system. It involves using fire charges. Maybe we'll use some sticky pistons too. them with lots of fire charges. This is a rapid fire charge launcher. That looks super strong, JJ. When you pull this lever, it launches a huge number of fire charges. With this in place, we should be able to fend off Charles if he breaks in. Awesome! We can definitely beat Charles with a device like this. We'll place a whole lot of these around. I'll build a lookout here so we can see better. Oh, thanks, Mikey. All right, all done. We made a pretty decent amount of fire charge launchers. Nice. Still, Mikey went to all the effort of building this lookout, so it'd be nice to be able to put an activation switch up here. I guess I'll put the lever over here. Now, if we use this lever to activate them, the fire charges will be rapid fire to rain down on Charles. Whoa! With this, it'll be super easy to take Charles down. Now, we can rest easy. These launchers will definitely deal lots of damage and should be able to take him down. But in case he manages to get past Mikey, we'll need some security inside the house too. What kind of security are we setting up in here? We have these wooden doors, so I'll replace them with sturdy iron doors. If we put redstone torches beneath them, they'll keep the doors open so we can dash inside. I think using sturdy iron doors is good. But if we leave the doors open, then Charles, the man-eating train, will just come right inside the house. Don't worry, Mikey. I want to make it so that we can close the open doors with a lever from the inside. I'll install a lever here, and we're set. If we pull the lever, the doors close. Now it can't be open from the outside. 
Now there's no way that Charles will be able to get inside the house. Still, Mikey, we can't rest just yet, even with the iron doors. In the unlikely event that Charles does somehow break into our house, we'll need to have even more powerful security prepared. I'll make a space further in for us to escape to. I guess I'll use a command to make it. All right, now we have a passage here. If Charles the man-eating train gets inside, we'll escape through these doors into the passage. Now we have a room where we can set up some security. This is huge! What kind of security will we set up in here? Let's set up a trap on both sides of this room that causes walls full of saw blades to close together. Ooh, that's awesome! Let's set it up! We don't know when Charles will show up, so we gotta set it up fast. First, I'd like to change the floor into obsidian blocks. I guess I'll place them using a command. From over there to here, I'll change them all into obsidian blocks. All right! Let's do the same with the ceiling. Now they're obsidian blocks. All right, now I'll start making the device to move the saws here. We'll attach the saw blades here. This trap will take up the entire wall. an extremely powerful security system. Now I'll set up a redstone circuit to activate the device. I'll place the lever here. And I'll connect it to the device over there. build the same thing on the other side. And it's set! When this lever switch is activated, the saw blade security will activate on both sides, and I think we'll be able to fend off Charles right here! That's incredible, JJ! With this many saw blades, we'll be able to take down Charles without a problem! Now, we're totally safe! Still, what if Charles also managed to get through that? We'd need an even more powerful security system over here. I'll use another command. I guess I'll make a space over here for our security system. How's that? We have a large open space here now. This is where I want to prepare another security measure. What kind of security are you gonna build here? I'm gonna make a huge pitfall trap here. A little of this. Now I have a huge pit to work with. The floor won't just be a regular floor, so let's use this. Floor spikes. We'll cover the entire surface with these. 
We don't know when Charles will show up, so let's hurry and build it. Well, let's get started. Today, Mikey and I are playing Speedrunner vs. Hunter, and I'm Tiny. Look at me! This is gonna be so easy! Don't underestimate me just because I'm small. You think you can win? I think my odds are pretty good. Anyway, what are the rules? The rules are pretty simple. My goal is to destroy this stone statue that looks like a creeper. If I can do that before Mikey stops me, then I win. But if Mikey manages to somehow stop me first, or if I die in some other way, then Mikey is the winner. Okay! Oh, and one other thing. The statue can only be destroyed if I mine it with a diamond pickaxe. So JJ has to find diamonds while I chase him down! That's right, Mikey. I still need to find diamonds to win. By the way, do you still have that compass I gave you? I sure do! It's right here! That compass will help you track me down. It points roughly in the direction of my X and Z coordinates, but you won't know what my elevation is since it doesn't give you my Y coordinates. I see! The last rule is that you have to wait five minutes before you can chase me. Five minutes? That sounds kind of boring. Just you wait, Creeper Statue. But okay, five minutes! Yeah! First things first. Mikey will be hunting me down soon, so I need to gather resources while I can. Wood is the most important resource to collect first. With enough wood, I can make a crafting table. Has Mikey snuck off yet? No, I'm still here! Good, you have four more minutes. I'm gonna use this time to craft a wooden pickaxe. Okay, time to get out of here. My new pickaxe will help me gather stone. I'm so fast! Sorry, Mikey, but good luck catching me. I have super speed. I'm still bigger! Bigger, but also slower. Oh, lucky me! I fell into a cave. This will be the perfect place to gather all the stone I need. I'm tired of waiting! I can craft a few useful things with stone. Your time is halfway up! That's plenty of time. Five minutes makes a big difference. I'd better start by making some stone tools. They'll be really helpful. I wish you'd slow down! Now I have a pickaxe, and a sword, huh? and a shovel. This is bad! Now I have an axe, and also a furnace. Whoa! Now I should focus on finding some food. You're making good time, but I'll get you in a minute and a half. We'll see about that. Oh, what do we have here? That's lucky. What is it now? This might be just what I need to win. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah! A village! Aww, that's not good. It is for me. Okay, if I take these crops, I should have all the food that I need. I'm in a good spot. Your time is almost up! That's okay. I'm ready for you. I'm just picking a little bit more food here. And that's time! The hunt is on! Mikey knows which direction he needs to go. Yep. That will make it hard to stay away from him. Let's search the village for anything of value before Mikey gets too close. That makes him a formidable opponent. Gotta hurry! I'm coming straight for you! That's not good. In the village? Did you find it, Mikey? What? No way! How's he so fast? Don't worry! I have to run. Time to start looking for some diamonds. Where are you, Mikey? Here somewhere. <laughs> Time to look around. I know he's here somewhere. Where are you? I'm in the village. Really? Where? I'm close. Where? What part of the village? <laughs> I'm somewhere. Huh? What's wrong, JJ? <laughs> I don't like this. Oh. Oh, I see him. Hello. He's close. You. I'd better use my size to hide. You're too late, JJ. I should be safe in here. Yes, I think I lost him. Hey, Mikey. Hang on. I just saw you. You know roughly where I am, right? I know you're in the village, but where? Except you don't know my elevation, huh? I could be above or below you. And I see you looking around. Wait, really? You can see me right now? 
<laughs> You're getting warmer. Well, you better hope I don't find you, JJ. Oh, you're so close. I'm getting lit. I can see that. Go ahead, take your time. Yep. Meanwhile, I have the perfect opportunity to get out of here. What was that? This cave looks like a good escape route. Did you see? Uh oh. There you are. I'm in trouble. JJ! Oh, man. It's over now. No, it's a dead end. I have no choice but to dig. This is bad. Here I come. You're not getting away. Oh, right. I have an advantage. Because I'm so tiny, I can fit through one block tall spaces. That means you can't catch up to me. Because you have to keep digging. Oh, really? Being small gives you a big advantage. Oh, that was a bad joke. Wait, what joke? Never mind. Okay, here's my chance. I can actually fight back. Sorry, Mikey, but I have a huge advantage. Hey! Back into my hole? You can't get me. Come back! Time for... Sneak attack! Ah! I did it! No way! Now I have a chance to grab that iron. Mikey will be back soon, so I have to hurry. I wish there were some coal. This cave is really dark. My furnace can go right over here. Let's get that iron cooking. Where are you now, Mikey? I'm still far away. That's a relief. Now I can craft an iron pickaxe, which will let me mine diamonds. Victory is within sight. The one problem is I don't have enough torches and I can't find any coal. I can use charcoal instead, but that means going up to the surface and gathering some wood. Let's make it quick. This wood'll do. Strange just attacked! Mikey, that's not you in disguise, is it? Maybe it's on my side! It's some kind of living suit of armor? That's freaky! Night is dangerous! Wow, there's another! I keep getting attacked by suits of armor! We must be my friends! I don't know about that! I think they'd attack you too, Mikey! Where are you now? I'm on my way to the village! Just so you know, the village is terrifying right now! Really? There's monsters all over the place. I could really use some more torches. Where are you hiding, JJ? Uh-oh. I'll just... Yo, oh, Mikey! There you are! I'm gonna get you this time! Come back here, JJ! Don't forget, I jump higher than you. Where did... Over here! Huh? Time to run away. Oh, I can hide under here! Mikey will never find me here. Where did you go? <laughs> There's Mikey. What? Watch out for him. What is that? Hey, stay back. Ouch. Mikey, I'm not sure you can beat that thing. They don't even take damage. Wait, seriously? Are you okay? Oh no! Not good! Oh, did you go in that house? Why are there so many? It's like they're multiplying! Oh, a villager! No! Oh. Hey! There you are! Found you! He saw me! Get away! Yes! This is bad! I have to go now! Phew! I'm out of here! Uh-oh! That was close! No! Did a skeleton just shoot you? Yes! Well, now I have another chance to gather resources. I'll turn this wood into charcoal for torches. It's gonna take a little while to cook it all. That's okay. I should have plenty of time now. Well, Mikey won't be back for a while, so how about another furnace? This one can cook my potatoes. Perfect. And now we wait. Seriously? Well, I should have some time before Mikey gets back. Yikes! Stay back! What attacked me? A vampire bat? Awesome! More friends! They're helping me to beat you! was tough, but I managed to beat it. I can't believe how dangerous this village is at night. Now that I have some wood, I can make the torches I need to find diamonds. Then, I can make the pickaxe and destroy that statue. Is that a bat? 
Uh-oh, I thought you were friends. Where are you, Mikey? The village. Already? Today. Finally, it looks like the sun is coming up. Oh, that hurts. Okay, finally time to make some torches. I think that should be enough. Don't forget the potatoes. Are you in the village, JJ? All right, for today's video, I'm gonna pull pranks on Mikey. Right now, he's over there, playing survival mode. Let's start. I'm gonna go invisible so I can get close to him without him noticing. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, he's mining coal. That should be enough for now. Not bad. Good job. It's more than enough. I think it's time to head back to the surface. Yep, just like this. I'll dig straight up until I get all the way to the top. Oh, that's a good plan. <coughs> wow, Mikey's a smart guy. I should be up there in no time. Whoa, Mikey's right. He's almost there. Yeah. I think I'll use a command to pull a prank on him. Let's see. Fill it. Okay, almost there. And the numbers? Poof! Look what I did with the command! I spawned a giant dirt tower directly over Mikey! So if Mikey's down there, and he wants to reach the surface, he has to dig all the way through this tower! I wonder if he'll notice! Oh, he's almost at the tower! Come on, something must feel off! I should have reached the surface by now! Vicky, he's totally right! He fell for it! <laughs> How much further? This is weird. Am I there yet? Oh, Mikey should have definitely broken through by now. <sighs> Still nothing? Oh, where am I? He doesn't know. Why can't I reach the surface? Hmm. Oh. Weird. He's almost there. Just keep digging. Did I go this far without realizing? No way. Almost. Oh. Aha! The sky! <laughs> Finally! What was that about? I'm above ground, but where am I? Was there always a tower here? What? Whatever. Don't sweat the small stuff. No way. Wow. He didn't even think twice about the random dirt tower. Now I'm curious what other pranks I could pull. I think it's time to start a farm. A little plot of my own. While he's busy, I'll check out the house. Maybe I can prank him. <laughs> what? Hang on. Really? Uh, Mikey's house has a secret room? I'm turning off invisibility and going into creative mode. This is impressive. A hidden room behind a big painting. Wow, there's a chest here. I wonder what he's hiding. Open. So it's apple storage, huh? Okay, I think I have an idea for a prank. What if I fill his chest with enchanted golden apples? I need to get rid of the regular apples first. Then... I'll fill the entire thing with enchanted golden apples. This is gonna be such a surprise. Yeah, more. Perfect. And now, I'll fill the whole wall with chess! More, 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 more! And all of these are full of golden apples! It's probably too much. He'll see through this for sure. I'll turn invisibility back on and wait for him to come back. <sighs> that was hard work! Oh, here he comes! Home sweet home! Hey! Hmm? What is it? I'm all alone. He's going in. Whoa! Huh? Huh? Wait. Did I always have this many chests? Uh, no, I don't remember having this much stuff. Is this all mine? What? Hmm. Huh. Whatever. It's mine now. Lucky me. He took some, and he still hasn't caught on. All right, back to the cave. 
cave to try to find some diamonds. Let's go! Any diamonds around here? Well, they're pretty rare. For my next prank, I'm going to spawn a gigantic vein of diamonds in this cave. Hmm, I hope I find some soon. Diamonds are hard to find. Oh, I see one! It's right here! Wow, nice. Now's my chance. Three, two, one. Whoa! How's he gonna react? Hi, one. What's he doing? Oh, he's counting how many diamonds he found. Aww, it's only one. Seriously? Hmm. Diamonds are too rare. It's just the one. <sighs> Still, one is better than none. It's okay. I gotta look on the bright side. I still found a beautiful diamond. But he still hasn't caught on. Nice. He doesn't have a clue that I used to command for this. Today just keeps getting better. Okay. What's he up to now? Hmm. He's crafting. Okay. Oh, yeah! Awesome! Diamond diamond! Oh! Now I have nothing to fear from monsters! I can beat any enemy! Any enemy, huh? Well, I'll prank Mikey with an army of creepers. Just one. Oh. A creeper? Is that all? It barely scratched Another. me. Another. It blew up. How about two this time? More? Oh. Ah. No problem. I'm the best. Bring it on. Piece of cake. You asked for it, Mikey. I'll use a command to dump an entire stream of creepers right on his head. Take this. Whoa. Okay. No. What? Keep it coming! <laughs> no way! I got this! Okay. This isn't enough. I want more! Okay, I'm gonna spawn way more creepers in here. See? Eight. Nice! Why are there so many? Oh yeah, I wanna see this! Whoa! Oh wow! What's happening? It's crazy! This can't be real! Dip in the pool. Now's my chance. Oh, I know. What if I turn the water into lava? That's kind of a mean one, but I can't resist. He must be on to me by now. That might have been a little much. Dream that? No way! I thought I was on fire! Hmm, I must have imagined it! Scary! Huh? Yeah! This feels. He right. still hasn't figured it out! This should be a good time to reveal myself. I'll turn off the invisibility. Hey, Mikey! Hmm? Oh, it's JJ! What's up? How are you? I'm good. The pool feels great! Why don't you swim? Mikey, there's something I need to tell you. I've spent the entire day using you for a prank video. Did you notice anything funny? Oh, really? A prank video? Yep. But I haven't been pranked today.
Ah, uh, I'm starving. Food. Anything here? What? Are you kidding me? I only have one piece of bread left? Ah, uh, I guess I'll eat it. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry all the time these days. JJ! JJ! Oh, Mikey! That's unbelievable! What am I gonna do? It's insane! Huh? What's wrong, Mikey? Oh, by the way, sorry. I ate the last bread. I don't care about that! It doesn't matter! Hurry up! Get out of here! Uh, why? Just come! What do you mean it doesn't matter? It's something incredible has happened! Huh? Ah! Huh? Uh-huh! Is that money? What's all this money? Yep, yep, yep! Wow, it is money! What is this, Mikey? Isn't it amazing? The lottery ticket we bought together was a winner! Isn't it awesome? No kidding! Wow! 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 Uh, hang on, Mikey. Yeah? How much is there? How much did we win? JJ, we won $10 million! $10 million! But that's $10 million? This is ten million dollars? Yes! We could live easily and never run out. I'm so happy! There was something I always wanted to do if I won, and we're gonna do it now! You bought a lot of cakes. My dream, if I ever got rich, was to eat as many snacks as I could! Cookies, too. Tastes so good! I'm kinda hungry, so I guess I'll have some. Eat up! I will. I bought fireworks, too! We are having a snack party. This is the best! Oh, this one looks good! This is our new house? That's right! I remembered that I always wanted to live in a mansion! Okay… It cost five million, but I couldn't help myself! Five million? Whoa! Oh, so much! Although… Yep! This house is really cool! I know, right? This place is so huge, I can't take it all in! Mm -hmm. Oh, automatic doors! Whoa! That's right! It's fancy inside, too! Wow, there's an indoor waterfall! It's amazing! Huge rooms! Mm -hmm. This house is too big! Whoa! Alright! Oh, yum! A fireplace, too! Oh, cake! Scrumptious! Yes, please! Um, nom, nom, nom. Um. Mikey! This house is really amazing! Yep! But you spent five million? JJ! We're okay! We still have five million dollars left! It's five! Ow. Ow. I guess so. Five million out of ten million. I guess five million is enough. Yep! Don't think about it! And just have fun! We even have a pool! Let's go play! Okay! Oh, what a pool! And a diving board! Let's try it! Let's do it! Whoa! Whoa! Let's have fun! Wow! A house with a diving board! That's what five million dollars will buy! Isn't it great? Alright, I'm gonna dive off! Oh? Yeah! Whoa! Wow! I could do that all day! Yeah! Mm. I had so much fun today! I'm so glad I can finally live in a mansion! Yep! What an awesome mansion! It's the best! It is! Well, Mikey, it's been a long day. Let's sleep. Oh! oh there's something I wanted to do first! I almost forgot! Over here! What's so important? Watch this! Look! What is it? It's a door! Ready? Sure! Click! Whoa, it opened! And inside… What is it? It's a safe! For our precious money! We need to keep it in the most secure safe! Yep! Oh, it's a safe! It does seem extremely secure! Whoa! Alright! I get it 
Now, we're keeping our money in here. Yep. All right. It's an incredible number of dollar bills. So that's what five million dollars looks like. Well, let's sleep. Let's sleep. Be sure to close it. Yeah. Okay, let's close this one too. Close it. Security on. Now no one can steal from us. Whoa. Okay. Peace of mind. Let's call it a night. All right. The bedroom is really something. Oh. Ooh. Whoa, it really is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. The beds are so soft. So soft. We'll sleep well in these. All right. Well, good night, Mikey. I'm sleeping. Good night. Oh, JJ. Oh, what's up, Mikey? I went shopping today. What did you buy? Da 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 da. <laughs> yep yep yep. Huh? Wow. Your clothes look so expensive. Thanks. I bought some for you too. Take them. Here. Oh, thanks! You bought these for me? Try them! Whoa! I think they look good! Whoa! I look cool! Neat! We look like nobles! Thanks, Mikey! Sure! So cool! There's something else I want to show you! Come on! Hmm? What? What else do you want to show me? Follow me! This is it! Ta-da! Huh? I splurged! Check it out! Cars look really expensive. Each car cost one million dollars. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. This is a million, and that's a million. What? That's so much. They are cool, though. Let's ride, Mikey. Let's cruise in an expensive car. Whoa, sweet. Hey, why don't you drive, Mikey? Sure. So cool. Right. On that note, Mikey. Yeah? We've been using money non-stop. Do you know how much we have left? Huh? I think we should start using our money wisely so we don't run out. Huh? We had ten million dollars, right? We could never use it all up. Actually, Mikey, I'm a bit worried. How about we go check on the safe? Sure. All right. How much is left? Let's check. Let's see. All right. So, we still have a lot, right? Huh? Uh, oh! Seriously? You're kidding me! No! This is all that's left? Only one million? No, no way! Only one million! One million! We had ten million, but now most of it is gone! Mikey! Mikey? At this pace, we're gonna run out of money fast. Which means we need to start living more frugally. Huh? Let's skip the expensive restaurant today. Frugally? You mean that we can't live all fancy anymore? No, Mikey. Let's give up on extravagance. Let's leave the safe, Mikey. Okay. And let's close it behind us. All right, Mikey? Yeah? Don't touch the remaining million without me. From now on, we have to discuss our expenses. I understand. Frugal living. Ooh. Something woke me in the middle of the night. Huh? Mikey's gone. What? Where did he go? Let's go look for him. Where is he? Uh, oh. Mikey! Seriously? What's he doing? Be a winner! I'm begging! Everything is riding on this! No! 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 That one! Why? Hey! Oh! I 
wonder what's wrong. I guess that Mikey is playing a game or something? JJ! Huh? Bad news! Really bad! Whoa, what's the matter, Mikey? It's terrible! These posters are all over town! Look! Whoa! Hang on a second. That's a wanted poster. Let's see here. Dead or alive? Reward of one million dollars? What's going on here? Hey! That's me! I don't understand. What am I wanted for? I didn't do anything wrong. You must have been framed. If you don't make a run for it, you'll be arrested for a crime you didn't commit. Seriously? That would be terrible. Thank you, Mikey. Let's go take a look outside. Uh, let's get out of- ah! ah, Back up! Ah! The police are already here! Let me take another look. Uh, uh. Whoa, you weren't kidding, Mikey. There's a poster on every building, and cops everywhere! Right? This is really bad. They're over there, too. What about this side? Duh! More police? What do I do? There's no way you can leave the house! How are we gonna escape? You're right. We can't leave with the police out there. Huh. Unless... Oh! Mikey, I have a crazy idea. Really? What is it? Just hear me out. I have some pretty strong TNT here that's gonna come in handy. Uh-huh. I also have a toilet. Right? The toilet is connected to a sewer. Okay? If I put the TNT here and use it to blow up the toilet, oh. we should be able to make an escape through the sewers. Here goes nothing. Wow! All set. There's no time to waste. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Wow! How's it look? Huh? Wow! Nice, I knew it. Uh. All right, let's go. Hurry! <sighs> nice. Oh, perfect. Hop in. Oh. Are you ready? Let's escape this village right away. Let's go! Yeah. Phew! You know, I still have no clue what I'm wanted for. Huh. Oh, maybe we go this way? Check it out. There's a manhole up there. Let's go. Yeah! <sighs> Let's get out of here. Out of here and out of this village as fast as we can. Then, we'll find out why I'm wanted and prove my innocence. <laughs> All right then, open up. Awesome! We made it out! Perfect! Huh? Where did that manhole take us? We're on the mountain behind the village. Oh! We should be able to leave the village if we go this way. I see! Uh... Let's move it! Hang on, Mikey. Does something look different to you? What? Look! <gasps> Something's up with the village! Since when was all this lava here? Uh, the, no way! What? The village is completely surrounded by lava! No! Ah. You're right! The police must have done this to keep you from escaping! That must be it! We can't escape from the village like this! We'll never get across the lava! What are we gonna do now? There has to be a way! Let's go search the village! Well, I don't know. I am still a wanted man. If the police see me, they'll arrest me for sure! Maybe we can come up with a plan. Hmm. Oh, I know. Huh? Over there. I found something good. Follow me. Oh. This should work. Ah. Okay, we're here. What did you find? It's in that building up ahead. Let's sneak over to it. Okay. Careful, there's a cop. Where? Right up ahead. Please don't look this way. Okay, let's go. Right. Hurry, Mikey! Oh, okay, read it! Nice! Huh? All right! Where are we? Take a look around. Huh? This place is a clothing store. Oh, but why? If I change my outfit and disguise myself, maybe the police who are looking for me won't know it's me. Oh, that's genius! Hmm, these all look pretty heavy. Wearing them will be really hot. True, but that's better than being caught. I'll take these. 
Oh? <laughs> You're changing clothes, too? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you look very fashionable. I guess I'll wear these ones. Nice! Ta-da! Not bad! Oh! It's perfect because it hides your face! No one will know it's you as long as you don't talk. Well, I guess I'll need to change the way I talk then. Alrighty, I reckon I should talk like this, y'all. Huh? Them fellas won't have a clue who I am. Whoa! Nobody will recognize you if you talk like that. Even I wouldn't have a clue who you are. Well, thanks, partner. This getup is mighty hot, though. Huh. Sun's got me sweating like nobody's business. Let's just get this over with. So far, so good, by golly. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot. I may be roasting in here, but my disguise works. I can stroll right by them without them noticing. Whoa, you're right. Yep, I look nothing like them posters. I ought to be safe, yes siree. Let's get to searching for the things that'll help us escape. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw, I'm hotter than blue blazes. Me too. Mikey, uh... Yeah? I reckon my chicken is cooked. Can we take a break? Good idea. These clothes are just so hot. Yeah, this is brutal. Let's go rest in that house. Ugh, that sounds right as rain. Let's go. Okay, we'll rest in here. Uh-huh. It's so hot. I need to take this thing off. And then... Yeah? Let's close this place up like a barn in winter. Just like that. After all, there's police outside and we don't want them to catch a glimpse of us. Nice! There. Get all those closed up. Good job! Hmm. Okay, I think that's all the blinds closed. We're good. Yep. Well, the door has windows in it, so we should stay over here. Okay! And now, we can get these outfits off. <gasps> Finally! What a relief! I feel better already. Much cooler. Phew. Perfect. Hey, check out these refrigerators. Let's look inside. There's watermelon. Perfect. There's water too. Bottles of water. No one's gonna find us here. So let's chow down on this melon. That heat nearly killed us. Yum. Mm-hmm. This'll keep us hydrated. And now to wash it down with some water. <sighs> that was exciting what I needed. I'm so hydrated now. And we're safe in here. I actually feel alive again. Yay! Okay, let's find a way to escape this village before someone catches on to me. Yeah! They haven't found me yet, but... Huh? <coughs> Hang on, Mikey. What? Uh, What's up? No! Huh? Over there! A security camera! <gasps> oh no! The police are gonna know where we are. Oh no, we're too late! No! Ah! Ugh. My head. Huh? Where am I? Is this... Am I in a cell? Huh. Oh, that's right. The security camera got me caught. Uh, I can't believe I was so careless. And now I'm facing the consequences. How am I gonna escape? There's gotta be a way out of here. Huh? Hold on. I think the guard who's supposed to be watching me fell asleep. And right next to him. Is that the key to my cell? It's gotta be. Can I reach it? Ugh, not quite. It's too far away. I need to get to that key somehow. Ah, oh, this is hopeless. It's all over for me. I guess I'll be spending my life in here. Yo! Hey, JJ! Huh? What was that voice? Hey! What? JJ! Can you hear me? Oh! Hey! Down here! Mikey? Is that you? Oh! There you are! I've come to save you! What should I do? <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you. Let's see. Oh, I know. The key. Can you get it to me while the guard is asleep? But how am I supposed to get up there? Oh, good question.